Boom, she right. the nine win in the break. Oh, she's made the nine ball. Good evening, pool fans, and welcome to the Predator Women's Showdown from the Rio Wall Suites Hotel and Casino in lovely, lively Las Vegas. We started with 16 players. We are now down to just four. It's semi-final time and looking for a place in tomorrow's final are Jasmine Ocean and Chow Che Yu. We're playing nine ball. It's one on the spot. Best of three sets. It's races to four. And with me describing the action, not talking double Dutch, hopefully, or even single Dutch for that matter, Tim De Reuter. Hello, Tim. Good evening, everybody. Is that it? Is that your reaction to my beautiful introduction <laughs> to you? Hey, I'm or, just or trying. Or weren't you listening as usual? <laughs> I'm just trying not to speak Dutch, you know, that's, that's my main objective tonight. Well, why not welcome all Dutch fans very, very quickly. Come on, one line of Dutch. Welcome Paul fans around the world in Dutch. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's it. No, no more Dutch. Thank you very much indeed. So, <laughs> 30 second shot clock, guys. There's early nines of course allowed in this because we're playing nine ball we started with the top 16 players eight top seeds and eight invited and they played in groups where the top two went through to the quarterfinals and this is the result playing on the other table with Ray Chu Chen against Christina to catch they are the four I'm going to say lucky ladies but the ones that have played the best pool to get down to the last four, playing for first prize, Tim, of $35,000. Second prize, $16,250. Third, $8,125. And already, those that are out are taking home $4,063 just for turning up. It's not bad, is it? Here we go. Yeah, definitely worth showing up for that money. Oh, look at the cue ball. Okay, just very close scratching, but two balls on the break. Nice shape on the one. First glimpse at the rack. Biggest problem is that four ball, I believe. It was well worth showing up for the showdown. First time this event has been played. We've introduced two new events this year. This one and the mixed scotch doubles. And of course, we started with the regular Las Vegas men's and women's opens. We still have the men's 10 ball going on. And they're back tomorrow. The last 16 players just waiting for the draw to come out, guys. You can keep an eye on that. ProBilliardSeries.com. The info you need is on there. Uh, back to the game then. Nicely on the two, Tim. Three ball waiting for, I guess is the potential banana skin. Yeah, everything's going to depend on what kind of angle she gets on the three ball. I don't think the four ball does go to the bottom left. So that means she's got to go in between the four or five. Could also leave herself more cut on the four, but then she will have to go twice the short reel all the way up and down the table to come for the five ball she does have a nice single she could run in to the five ball here how's the speed oh that might have gone She's wrong yeah got a little bit more speed off the reel played it 
pretty good shot, but that doesn't count pretty good, apparently. She can draw the cue ball over the kick behind the six. The main thing for her was getting the four ball safe, and look at the speed. Ocean 38 from Klagenfurt, Austria. Former world number one, of course. Tim, this is an interesting stat. Since 2006, she's been listed among the top 10 women in the world. Since 2006, it's a pretty good game. Well, she definitely had a face where when I started to play the Euro Tour, she was so dominating in the Euro Tour women events or the European Championships that I believe Christina Tekac may might have beaten her a couple times here and there with young big talent, but in general nobody really wanted to face Jasmine's dominance. This and she's was one of twenty She's won 29 European pole championships. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it just shows how much class she really has got in her. And she also, they have a pretty good structure as well. If you look at Jasmine and Albin, they're not shy to work. They're not shy to put the practice in, working out, doing a lot of more aspects around the game than just play pool once in a while. The game is definitely changing. Interesting shot from Cho. Was expecting either a lot more left spin or double speed and go in between the five six. So needs to cut the five and go back and forth. She is playing with fire. Did she get on this six or did the nine ball still get in between? I think she still got it. So far in this opening rack. But looks like she's gonna get the job done, this nine ball to open her account. is definitely going, going to settle down after running this out. Of course, it's always, you're trying to figure out, you know, how am I queuing, how am I feeling, and then your opponent, like you missed an opportunity, your opponent gets to the table, you're kind of tasting, like, what is the, like, how, how well are we feeling? Is Jasmine in stroke? Am I not? You know, like, there's questions. and. The moment you win that first rack, you kind of take those questions out of the equation because you get self-confidence. You're like, oh, okay, Jasmine messed up that one chance. I have another chance to dominate this match. And it gives a little bit more confidence. So Joe breaking, looking to make the two ball in the corner, possibly the one in the side if the two doesn't go. Square hit. Oh, she did cut the break a little bit more, almost made the one in the side. And a dry break, so 
not really a huge chance for Jasmine, but at least something to yeah, to, to change the momentum in this match. Especially in the beginning of the match, the momentum is always looking to go either way. It's not determined from the beginning. So you can actually make a momentum here if Jasmine locks the cue ball right up behind the nine or or behind that two ball here, for example, then she could determine the momentum. Yeah, this is a little sloppy there from Jasmine. Of course, for most of the pool fans, they would say, hey, why is this a foul? But I do believe the one ball was frozen to the long rail. And as long as the object ball is frozen, that means you will have to hit another rail after contacting the one. So, nice layout here, right Mark? Looking pretty good. Yeah, just wonder if you can hear me, Tim. Just sorting yeah. out a technical right issue. There. I lost my way. Well, I can hear you, at least. That's a good sign. So, one and good shot. From the what a beautiful couple. Three to the four. This is the shot for this rack. Oh, wow. She found the gap in between the eight and the seven. Nicely played. There was a big scratch. Of course, there's a reason why she has won the World Nine Ball Women's Championship. No stranger to the game of nine ball as well, as she also plays very sporty ten ball. Well, her great run started, didn't it, in 2022, Tim, in Jasmine's home city of Klagenfurt when she won the World Ten Ball. And last year, 2023 was a really good year for Chow. She won almost a hundred thousand dollars. Including that World Nine Ball that you were just talking about. And also the Wisconsin Women's Open she won also. And what about that runners up title in Puerto Rico with the team? against the unforgettable temple of Pia Phillip. Every time I see that clip, it sends shivers down my spine. I was standing table side when that went down. Drama at its best. Well, I'm just happy to see so many different events coming back. You know, events that were pretty almost always there you know like every year we had the world teams championship we had a world eight ball championship and this all just kind of disappeared I'm glad to see them back at the calendar and of course it's important for the players as well we all want to win world titles and of course we all want to win the extra dollars that come with them well, there's so much talk, isn't there, about the resurgence of Paul and, and who is responsible for that. But it's it has to be a joint effort. And, you know, you've just mentioned all those different titles that have been brought back again. And it's kind of, that is big part of the resurgence of Paul as well, you know, because a lot of people now are seeing this played Tim, by, you know, by women, by juniors eight ball which they're all used to seeing in their bars and clubs right around the world eight ball after all is the biggest game there is everybody grows up playing eight ball so to see that you know 
revitalised is really, really important to the overall popularity of Q Sports and, and Paul as a whole. So Paul is in a really, really strong place at the moment and hopefully we're all pulling together now in the same direction. We can all go and play where we want to go, when we want to play, in what tournaments we, play, we want to play and go and make some real money and make this a true sport and a real way, a job where you can make a proper salary. I might have to shed a tear. That was a good speech. That was a, <laughs> that was a party political broadcast on behalf <laughs> of Mark Wyatt's Passion for Paul. Dot com. Yeah. Dot com. <laughs> yeah, and while doing so, Cho has run out. Not too difficult, only that seven ball to the side, traveling to the eight, but she's recovered nice and breaking. Coming up 2 0. Two balls on the break, and let's get shape on this two ball after the break. So, needs one good shot from the two to the four ball, and after, yeah, maybe some traveling with the six to the seven. So, a more tricky layout. It's perfect. So five to the bucket now, I think the table would be ideal. It sounds to me like Tim has started talking double Dutch. Is it just me? Oh, well, hopefully I have resolved it a little bit. That's better. Okay. Big shot. Mind the nine. She did perfectly. Playing well, Tim. She's come out firing on all cylinders. The Taiwanese top lady. Well, we all know she shoots straight. But if you look at her cue ball as well, most of the first three games she captured it was by playing good angles no risky shots just the first wreck where she stumbled a bit and after it's looking like prime shape just to get on the hill first set she did show it's worth mentioning as well I think that she has just joined Predator and for so many years she's been playing with that very distinctive maple cue, the wood cue with the red feral Tim and that's what I always remember her for and to come back with a performance like this in just a few weeks after you know trying out her new equipment with Predator, the Revo shaft, I think this is pretty impressive stuff from the Taiwanese. Let's have a look at these stats, Tim. Well, definitely what stands out is 67% break success and also a 81 run out win percentage, meaning that combined gets her definitely to a 926 first set. I mean, that's, that's real high for a first opening set. She's feeling comfortable, it shows. Well, if there was a lag stat, Jasmine would be losing out on that as well. And that's why she has yet to break. This is a good performance. And Chow 
really loving this match. Jasmine needs to get in it quick though. And it really does not stop for Cho. The only shot she's got to get some more work on is this one ball to the two ball. The two doesn't go in the corner where the five ball is. Might be able to play with inside, going all the way to the other, to the left short rail to shoot the two ball in one of the top corners. This is a difficult position. Could get out of line after, but could also run towards the six. How is she getting on the two ball? Oh, and oh, that's not. That early? Yeah. Early nine, maybe, as well. Well, she might be able to make the two ball after, after the nudge. Just depending if she can get the cue ball out of that corner because of the, the five might be in the way as well. did find the window and does have somewhat of a shot on the four needs one bigger shot on this four ball I was going to say one more big shot but she keeps coming up with the big shots you may remember when she won her world nine ball title in Atlantic City against Alison Fisher and I think it was 9-0 as well now, although this is two races to four, or the best of three races to four, should I say, at this stage, you know, if she can concentrate on a race to eight, she wins, right? As the Kelly Fisher always said to me, she treats these two races to four as a race to eight. Win eight zero, and you win the set and the match. Well, I'm a true believer also that if you think of it as a race to eight, you will put less pressure on yourself. And look at this. Beautiful queuing. Perfect on the six. Four balls remaining to win the first set in dominant fashion. <laughs> I just believe that if you think of these sets as a race to four, you're going to be playing very tight. You're going to put more pressure on your stroke and on your technique because you feel like you cannot make one single mistake during a set if you play in general first to eight racks you feel like make one or two mistakes you might still be able to get the win at the end and goes the nine ball then first set and jasmine will leave the arena she's going to get the attention of the referee she's going to go for a very very quick break so the, the break team on nine ball, not as difficult, especially with the one on the spot as the ten ball break is. They should be making the wing ball, which is the third ball back. And then the side of the broken domino, and then the left corner, or the, or the right corner. I have a question for you. How much time do you actually put into practicing the break and where in your practice time would you put that break would you do it at the end or would you do it at the beginning in the middle where would you i am going to give you all these answers just right after a short little clip but i'll promise i'll give you those right after the break
So welcome back everybody to the Predator Pro Beard Series Women's Showdown. Currently waiting for Jasmine Ushan to come back to the arena so we can continue with the second set. With me in the commentary booth is Mark White. He was just asking me a couple interesting pointers about the nine ball break. Not exactly sure if I've lost him or if he's still there. No, I'm, I'm here. I'm oh. just admiring that trip up the elevator of those queues, of those the BK rush, the air rush. And the the Reva, I think it was a Pantera as well. And I was just invited. I was I was imagining I was going up an elevator, a glass elevator, in the Predator factory, and just looking at all these queues on my way up. You're gonna have to wait to give your break tips after the break from Jasmine now. Hey, Jasmine can teach us how to break nine ball. Let's see. Nice square hit, lots of energy in the break, making two balls, and I do think she got a little bit unfortunate. I think the five ball just got right in the way. And just look at how much she actually puts into the break, and how less the cue ball is actually moving. Most of the time when people put this kind of energy into the break, the cue ball starts flying around three rails or maybe a lot of spin. She hit it great, it's just that, yeah, the five ball is right in between. Looked like she was down on her knees praying that that went then. She's had a good look at it. Does it go? Can she get through to it? She can certainly hit the, the right side of it, the left side as she looks. Well, unless she's bank going to the bank, yeah. Wow, oh, she, she was it. able oh, to. Don't make the two. Oh, boy. This is, I mean, she actually played a decent shot opening up the two ball towards the corner. Just that the two ball also went and either way on the three ball would have been fine. Just not right there. I'm not Referee. saying she won't be able to make the three ball. So tough, Tim. I think this is the toughest shot on a pool table. Wow, not what a uh, shot. Well, she also has to really right, be right there from the beginning because if you look at Cho, first set, she's only played like a 900, 950 set and only made one mistake. So Jasmine has to try and level that. Oh, and Dear just right when I said it. It's actually sad because she came up with the big shots to make something happen in this rack. Laying behind the nine, is she? Yeah. Nicely done. for Jasmine at the moment and to be fair to her she hasn't really had a lot of table time Tim she broke off made that ball made a, a lovely shot on the one moved out the two had that really awkward queuing and then you know the, the long more or less straight in four ball and that's lack of table time in my opinion just hasn't got the arm going yet going in behind the nine here isn't she yeah i think so wow what a shot 
what a I shot. I think she could not have played this any better. I think the nine is blocking, going over the long rail. You've seen that acknowledgement. You've seen Jasmine not yeah. like, yeah, yeah, this is it. This. I don't think she could have played this any better. Nod of approval from a multiple world champion. She's in trouble here. She's got to hit this and get it safe. One rail, and it's wide. So, excellent safety from that young lady. Hooking Jasmine right behind that nine ball, and it's forced the error from the Austrian, and now a, a real chance, ball in hand. Take the first rack of the second set, and it's the set that she needs. Nickname Rita or Big Eyes, I'm told as well. It's a bit harsh, I think, that, but that's what they call her in China, in uh, Chinese Taipei, rather. Yeah, smart decision. Me. Smart decision leaving herself the medicine on the six ball. Most of the players would have liked to run the cue ball around on that five ball, but not so much angle, and this is, in the end, a less effort more effective. Nicely done. First rack, second set goes to the Taiwanese star. So I'm just going to go back to something here. I've thought of a little, a little line, a little logo kind of line, tagline, Tim, for your coaching guru lessons that we're going to set up for you one day. We're going to get your website and the, the headline is going to be when you're breaking bad, better call Saul. Uh, better call Tim, rather. What about that? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm being flattered a little bit here. I mean, what can I say? No, I just, I'm just being very picky in general. And um, if you look at, you know, when people are breaking, like Shane earlier today, he had one break where I said, okay, this is it. This is exactly it. And then there is for other players, they're breaking from the side rail and some of them are hitting those extremely great. And every break has small little details, which most of the amateur players, they don't look at. So if you are just pounding the break, you say, well, I smacked them. How can they, how, how is it possible to have a dry break? Well, there is so many reasons why you did have that dry break. And that's what I usually look at really deeply. Do you go to sleep at night visualizing the perfect break? <laughs> no, I, when I play myself, I sleep better when I feel I hit that perfect break, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Chowta, you hit this one perfectly, trying to make Either the six or the five. I can't see which side she's breaking from. So she's trying to make the five ball in the corner. And it goes. One in the side as well, Tim. This is a great break. Look at the two ball as well. A shot at this and everything in the open. This is like a drill. Yeah, I did cut the break a little bit more that's how the cue ball found the kiss with the six and that's how also the one ball most of the time travels towards the side but she is not gonna care more or less she can get straight on the three ball I told you he was tough enough. guys I, I told you he <laughs> was tough he means that was oh, almost I mean, perfect perfect result but not the perfect strike is what you mean right yeah, I mean, in the end, I would always look for something a little better. Even though she could be winning the match with this break, and it's not like she's been breaking bad. I'm more saying 
why not go for a little bit more, you know? I do believe the best breakers in the game, they've always been looking for more answers, more information. Did get a little bit in between on this four ball. I do think four going towards the left. Yeah, she's going towards the left. A little bit more cut, but staying away from behind the eight. Can cue freely. Oh, right in the heart. Playing so well, isn't she, at the moment? She's in dead punch, as a lot of people say. Stroking the ball round with finesse, with beauty, with authority. She is. Another beautiful shot. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, too much stroke. Hit this oh. one. A bit too much. <laughs> she laughed. Wow. She did smile because that was something you would not expect on that. She had such a big line, look at this. Such a big line to end up on the seven ball. She would have never expected to even get that far. Just struck it a little bit too nice, actually. But you know what you know what I see there, Tim? The fact that now she's playing with carbon fiber, whereas before she was playing with wood, so she would never maybe have got that much. So now she's realizing how much easier it is to get that amount of reaction using the carbon fiber shaft. Well, based on her facial expression after, I actually do think that is exactly what happened to her. So, big bank shot coming. Yeah, she is working. coming up with so many big shots. Like, every time she gets a little bit out of shape, she comes up with another one. Let's see if she can make, if she makes his eight, I'm gonna call her big shot Cho. Shot though for Jasmine, unfortunately. I was just going to say, Cho, not choking, but on that one, she's just missed it. But only a thin safety oh. here, I think, for Jasmine. Just look at her body a little bit. The moment she struck the ball, I feel there was just a hair of movement, which could have caused her to miss the eight. But still, she hasn't left the shot on the eight. And I completely agree with Jasmine going for the bank here. Cue ball low left. Go round the nine ball. I believe you have to do something here. Unless you want to thin the eight and hopefully get distance. But she's played it two way. And yeah, this plenty of players like to play this shot. But most of the time... I see them leave something on the eight. Of course, it, it's a long one. But she could choose to cut it in and go twice the long rail and just take a longer cut on the nine. She doesn't have to play low left. Could play low left. Yeah, exactly like this. She's played it perfect. Yeah, not afraid to stay away from the ball and take a longer shot to make the the pot easier tim didn't try to do too much with a cue ball so just concentrate on snicking this nine into the corner and she's well in command at 2-0 and a setup also real real good performance here from the taiwanese well it almost feels like we're repeating the first set Cho made one mistake in the first set and Jasmine unfortunately couldn't change the momentum yeah Cho look at their match player overall performance 939 80% break success with 67% having a shot after the break and that's huge if you make one or two balls on the break look at the average balls pocketed one or two balls on the break, shot after. She's definitely running out 69% of her wins, so.
See if she can show us another one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the oh, and the two ball helping her out as well because the two was gonna be a more tough shot. Look, just look at the cue ball. There's no spin on the cue ball. This is just a tad of draw. What more do you want on the break? The two ball is a little bit off the rail, so she can play low left. And if she That's gets what I'm on the three ball, you. That's what, Tim, I'm always <laughs> asking you. What more do you want on the break? Come on. <laughs> hey, I know this I'm a tough great, customer, man. but. Uh, she, I mean, just look at if she can get from the four to the six, she's going to be on the hill. And you know, we, there's not much more to talk about. <laughs> and of course, you got to give credits when the credits are due. If she can get from this four ball to the six ball, look at how much room she has in between the side pocket and the six. She does have angle on the four, so I think I will have to play the window in between the side pocket and the six. And if you catch the six ball, you're still on it. So I'd rather be a little bit too low and run into the six than run too far and scratch, of course. You wouldn't just go back center table here, Tim, no? Just draw back to centre table somewhere. I don't think she can get it because she's going to hit the rail first as soon as she oh, going to make the cue ball. Wow, well, oh. when it's going your way. Well, it is going to depend if it goes her way because she might be hooked. This is extremely close. I don't even think she's that deep into the side pocket, but... She might be just wrong. Didn't quite get hold of it like she wanted to. Safety behind the eight, I think, is the order of the day. Wants a bounce, though. Well, easy kick. Once again, Jasmine needs to either make the six or get it safe. Yeah, I expect her to cut the six ball towards the short rail. It's like a half a ball, maybe a little bit thinner with left spin. She could potentially get behind the eight. Didn't juice the cue ball up enough, but queuing over the eight for Cho and a good six ball. she go the bank tin or not well it's just gonna Last depend it. she's queuing over the eight that's the really awkward part she could she has a big pocket on the nine. Oh, and i think oh, she's getting very case. fortunate oh she got very fortunate on this six ball well it's always the way isn't it when you're the one playing the good pull you always seem to get those little rolls when you're not playing well they seem to go against you, and that's what's happening for Jasmine at the moment. I mean, look at that little double kiss there. Well, Absolutely what I perfect. what I think is interesting even more is when she struck the ball, you could see her whole arm and body was moving towards the left. So there was quite some tension on that bank she tried to play. And not a horrible result for Jasmine just was hoping to get a little bit more cover. Has left something for Chiu Cho to wing at. If she really wants to, I'm not sure if I would want to. Oh. But at this point, she's just almost everything she can see, she's making it, except for the shots where she is queuing over a ball. How incredible is that? She's just played 
that six ball earlier on from a similar position when she tried to bank the six and got lucky. It's another good shot here. Will she just play it all round the angles, Tim, and get safe, or is she going for this? I would say she would hit a tick, but she went for it. Oh, she got away with it to a certain extent. Bank is on, but cue ball going nowhere near the eight ball. Decisions for Jasmine. really doesn't have so much value to to bank the seven ball unless you want to go all in on the combo now they are under the shot clock and i believe she called the extension but still it's gonna you know the time is running i, I think i might try to bank the seven ball two rails underneath the eight and create distance or i make this and i go all in She was trying to get there, just couldn't hold the cue ball. And yeah, we might see Cho go aggressive because if she can cut the seven into the eight, she could play the seven, eight, nine combo. And if she doesn't make it, the seven will slide down to the short rail. The other option is going for the cut to the other corner. But if you don't make that one, you might be able to sell out, but you have more chance to do something with the nine ball mm. yeah, this this way she was always going to sell out so i do believe she chose the wrong shot maybe chance. the first time maybe the first time in this seven wrecks that i believe cho has chosen a tougher shot than she needed to play crowd clapping they definitely want Jasmine to make something happen to to make a match of course we are here to have a match but so far it's been only Tio Cho and she's been playing phenomenal yeah Jasmine finally in the seventh black gets her first one on the board she can now feel part of this semi-final round one she lost to Wei Chu Chen in the very first round and then she beat Alison Fisher Christina Zleteva in the quarter final now apparently in that match Christina had she was 2-0 up in the deciding set and got a bad skid on an eight ball and I looked at it this morning on Facebook Tim and it was on the rail as well. It was one of them where you play rail and cushion at the same time. And I couldn't really make out if it was a skid or not, but Christina said it was. So little things in pool can happen, can't they? And it's sometimes the difference between sitting where Jasmine sat now and sitting in the audience watching. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you can change what's coming for you and sometimes it just happens for you. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the match, you can determine your momentum. But the way how everything is going right now, yeah, you ha you got to say the momentum is with Cho as well. She did have a couple misses now in this second set and barely has left open shots for Jasmine. And that's, that's ba mainly just the momentum and maybe a little bit knowing where the object ball is going if you miss the ball, but always need a little luck here and there. There is a small mini momentum with Jasmine just because she won that rack. So if she can produce a quality break and run out, she might create a big momentum. You know, it kind of advances if you take your shots, if you take your chances on your, based on your skill, you can grow the momentum. 
So breaking off 2-1 down in the second set. Jasmine Ocean looking for a place in the final tomorrow night, which will take place at 6 p.m. local time in Las Vegas. did make a ball no break but look at the cue ball overcut the one to the other side and that four ball almost <laughs> banked the cue ball right into the corner yeah where do you push to the good thing is is that you could leave many awkward shots on this one five combination the other side is everything Cho has been shooting at, she's been making, so you might want to push just towards the four. Could go for a kick and stick, possibly making the one in the side if you don't, you leave the cue ball where the five is now, nearby, and the one ball could track towards the top left corner in this view. Could also go pretty basic, one reel behind the nine or the three ball, but the one is going to be more in the open. Oh, she did go for the bank. Look at this beautiful shot. I do understand why Cho has given this back because it was off angle. Still needs another good shot going to the three ball. But in case for Jasmine, she's just trying to make something happen. Change the momentum and be a little bit more aggressive. The last 16 of the men's 10 ball draw is out and there's an absolute classic for you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Shane Van Boning against Fedor Gorst, Moscone Cup. Teammates will be going head to head against each other on that one. Skylar Woodward, Nokioi, Ko Pinyi against Francisco Sanchez Ruiz and your other TV match at 10 a.m. Table two, Carlo Biardo against Chang Jun Lin. Big action tomorrow, and don't forget the final of the ladies' showdown also at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Gorst Van Boning, what do you reckon to that one, Tim? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I seen Shane today. Shane was amazing. He was definitely in that bunch, but to beat Feder is always pretty tough so oh I don't you think she was trying to make the three ball I think she was trying to get the cue ball behind the five she's done a good job I was just gonna say the winner of that match might be actually a favorite to win the world championships getting more confidence beating one of your fellow world-class colleagues can do a big thing. Great jump. Oh, where's the Jumping cue ball? Jasmine. Oh, she's caught the jaws and she needs that cue. No, she doesn't. She's okay. Straight in though, Tim on the four. Not easy. She's struggling at the moment. Cue ball comes across. Just yeah, just missed the pocket actually. Yeah, it was tough. You know, you could say, well, why did she not play with a little bit of inside? But that's going to make 
the odds of missing that three ball bigger. Now she has to jack up and at least stop the cue ball on this four ball. If she goes flat cue, can she still go two wheels forward? Does she have that angle? No. She never planned on shooting this five ball unless she's playing another bank. But I thought if she jacked up and stopped the cue ball on the four, she would still have some cut on the five ball to work with. And of course, increases the difficulty of making the shot. So I guess that's what swayed her mind there. Make the ball, at least give yourself the next shot to play a safe, or maybe a bank even. In safety, needs to miss the nine ball. She hasn't. Yeah, Jasmine just really trying to scrape through this match so far, not getting so many great outs, difficult positions. That's also sometimes how the game goes, you know, you cannot always expect to get straight in or get perfect angles to move the cue ball around. Sometimes you gotta hang in tight and hopefully it'll last long. We've just received some good news as well. It will be Tim Daroita and myself in the booth for the final tomorrow evening, 6 p.m. Vegas time. So I'll see you in the booth for that one, Tim. Really looking forward to it. Whoever is in the final is going to be a great, great match, isn't it? Yeah, just fortunate to do another final. You know, it's uh, always a pleasure to be in the booth and. If you look at how high the standard is, how could we not enjoy this, right? The two luckiest guys in the world tomorrow at 6 p.m. Well, apart from the two lucky ladies, of course, at the table, they're gonna earn a little bit more money than us, Tim. Jasmine fighting back. This to draw level in set number two. We do go to a third and deciding set. Then, if we happen to go heel heel in the deciding set, we then have a shootout. But at the moment, Jasmine drawing level and she will have the break. And we know she's got a really good break. If she can just get that working, get a shot at the lowest ball on, could be on the hill herself very, very soon. Yeah, so you Tim, kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, carry on, carry on. I'll save my question. I've got lots of... <laughs> go on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I figured out during the years. Uh, <laughs> no, I was just going to mention the fact that if Jasmine can get the cue ball, the same energy on the balls, but a good, be little bit better cue ball, I believe she has all the chances to get through the set because the momentum really changed from Cho. She's not playing that great no more. The positions she's getting are getting tougher. So a little longer until Jasmine is going to get something for going towards her way. It's always easier to play, isn't it, when your opponent's missing everything and it kind of, the momentum has shifted in this second set. Makes the one ball, controlled the one nice off the side rail. Is she going to have a shot at the two? I think she is. The five's going to get out of the way. Look at this. It's a nice open table. A chance to get on the hill for Jasmine Ocean. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm saying is, this is such a big deal. If you can get a couple of these, she's right in the match. She, she's not ready to go into that plane yet. Well, I believe 20, 30 minutes ago, most of the people would be thinking, well, Jasmine has no chance. And how could you even say that? She's, what did you say? 27 times European champion. <laughs> yeah, 29 actually, don't rob her of two. Come on, she worked oh, hard for them, okay. Tim. Okay, yeah, I mean, I might not even be born. I mean. <laughs> 
No, more saying this is such a big difference in the game in general and pool. And she does have a beautiful chance here. Wei Chu Chen has gone 3 0 up in the second set after losing the first to Christina to catch. So that one going pretty much the same way as this one, Tim. And we still know wise up who is going to be on this very table tomorrow at 6 p.m. Yeah, who knows? Maybe two shootouts in the semi finals. Still a long way for this match, but the other match of course with way being up 3-0 in the second set you would guess her leveling the score in sets exciting stuff purposely leaving a nice angle on this six ball to make the the trip to the seven that much easier Yeah, I would like to go two rails on this. Just take away the fact that you can get on the rail. Just take away the fact that you could scratch. See, this way, if you go two rails, even if you don't get straight, it doesn't matter. Just, it's a small cut, plenty of room on the table. Just play the percentage. Could even shoot to the corner if she feels really comfortable, but under the pressure, I. Don't mind her going with low right. The right is going to throw the seven ball more to the left. So she can hit it thicker. Look at the cue ball. Perfect. Yeah, zipping off the rail. That right hand spin. Widening the angle. Increasing the speed off of the second rail as well. Coasting up towards that eight ball. Now can come round two, maybe three rails, or can just go forward with left. Yeah, I, I like the forward with left because the nine is positioned a little bit more to the right of the table. Oh, she did go to the right side of the nine, St still possible. It's just a very speed sensitive. So many options to go to the nine ball, of course, always will be, and depending on the feeling, too. This is a big one. This is to get on the hill and put some pressure, maybe for the first time, on Cho. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, wow. You cannot miss nine balls like that. And Jasmine, can't believe it. I can't believe it. Can you believe it, Tim? No, I I mean, I didn't really see that coming. The only thing I could say is she got a little bit more angle. She got a little bit too short on the nine. But then still, she actually had the momentum. She definitely was going to be on the hill. I, that's what I was expecting her to be. So not Jasmine. She Cho on the hill. Double hill. More questions, Tim. What do you think of that logo? I love it. First time I saw that Showdown logo, I thought, now that's really cool. Who made that? Yeah, well, I'm definitely a big fan in general of this great LED arena. I just think it's a new innovation, which we don't really get to see in many tours or tournaments. And it surely does give great designs you've mentioned you've taught me something yesterday because yesterday we had the world 10 ball men championships with the teal line on the top line ah, yes. <laughs> you did teach me that so yeah there's these are all custom designs and i also believe our sport has to be presented in this way and also with new sponsors coming on board, you obviously want to give them something as well. 
give them worth their value. Yeah, and it's a good time as well to give a mention to JP and Vincent Rochefort and Matt Coinflip and all, and all the guys, David, who bring you all the terrific social media and highlights and you know all the best shots and the great graphics that we see throughout the tournaments and they're working hard behind the scenes. You never see them, but you do see their work and you, that's what we're seeing now. So well done, guys. Breaking off to get on the hill. We thought it would be Jasmine, but it's not. It's this young lady. Well, has made the eight, and she's got shape on this one ball. This could be the chance. Lost the cue ball a bit on that break. A little fortunate for the seven ball to push the cue ball in a nice position. Now, just the two ball, I would guess the two to the three ball would be the biggest challenge. So it really depends on the speed you play it. If you can get straight on the three ball, that would be great. But you could also end up on the long rail or too short. Nice angle on the two, can go wherever she wants. Looks pretty good to me, Tim. She is really tuned in, in general, this, this whole match. Of course, the second set was maybe a little bit less, but she can position herself with a nice angle on the four ball to cross over to the short side of the five. Sometimes you could position to the center of the table and take the cut on the five ball, but now the nine ball is blocking most of that. So I do like going to the short side of the five ball. If she can get off the rail and some angle, I don't see a reason why we will see Jasmine back. Just to confirm, Wei Chu Chen has taken the second set against Christina to catch in the other semi final. They are now one set all. Jasmine played her last shot in the inaugural Predator Women's Showdown. 16 players started, eight top seeds and eight invited. It looks like we're going to be down to just three after this seven and nine ball. And I think Tim the form in the first set set the precedent for this match. It was a great performance from Chow and thoroughly deserved win, I think. That nine ball that Jasmine missed was kind of just the icing on the cake. For this young lady, in it goes then, the nine ball. And our first finalist is Gary Chen. You can read the lips of Jasmine Ocean there. Well played, well played, yes. I'll say it a third time. Well played, Chow Che Yu. She will be in tomorrow's final. Tim Deroita, who was in the booth with me then, and Mark White, we will be back for that final tomorrow night, 6 p.m. If you want to go and check out the end of the other match that's on our other table, they're nicely poised at one set all. We'll see you tomorrow. Say goodbye, Tim. See you all. See you tomorrow.